I am Riji, Associate Professor, Department of ECE. Today we are going to see about microwave tube. That is, microwave tubes are different type. Clistron, Magnetron, TWT. Microwave tubes, Clistron. On completion, students will be able to define Clistron, classification of Clistron. High frequency limitation of conventional tube. Conventional tube cannot work above 1 gigahertz due to lead inductance, indirect electrode capacitance, transit angle effect, gain bandwidth product, skin effect, radiation loss, dielectric loss. High frequency tubes are two types linear beam tube and cross field. Microwave tube, linear beam tube, cross field field tube linear beam tube linear beam tube is what type cavity slow wave structure so resonant forward wave backward wave in that resonant we will have clistron helix twt reflect clistron coupled cavity and tristron and backward wave we will have bwa and bwo cross field device cross field device resonant non resonant maser effect so resonant standing wave reentrant magnetron non resonant forward wave backward wave so it is reentrant non reentrant fwo cfa and diministron so backward wave reentrant non reentrant amplifryon cartridgetron and maser jigtrotron Clistron amplifier, two cavity clistron, two cavity, it has two cavity, one it is bunger cavity and another one is catcher cavity, separated by a dist phase D. So here we are having 500 kilowatt continuous power, 30 mega, megawatt power at 10 gigahertz, power 30 dB and efficiency 40 percentage. So, the apple gate diagram represent the bunging center with the bunging grid. So, once we will discuss about the derivation, we can understand. So, by supplying, we are going to determine the velocity modulation process and efficiency. By supporting DC voltage V0 before entering the bunger grid, their velocity is uniform. So, V0 equal to 2E V0 by M, which is equal to 0 0.593 10 to the power 6 square root of V0. When microwave signals are applied at input terminal, gap voltage between bunger grid, that is Vs is equal to V1 sin omega t. V1 is the amplitude of the signal. The average transit time from the bunger distance, tau equal to d by V0, which is T1 minus T0. Average gap transit angle, theta g equal to omega t, omega d by V0, omega T1 minus T0. To average microwave voltage in bunger gap can be found by Vs is equal to 1 by r square root of V1 sin omega t. From that you will get V1 equal to sin theta by 2 by sin theta by 2 sin of omega t minus omega t naught plus theta by 2. Beam coupling coefficient of the input cavity gap denoted by letter beta i. By increasing the gap transient angle, decreasing the coupling between the electron and the bunger grid. So velocity modulation of beam for a given microwave signal is decreased. At the bunger cavity, input signal is superimposed on DC voltage. So, the velocity of electron exciting the bunger cavity. So, V1 value is given. So, omega T1 equal to square root of 2 EV0 by M1 plus beta V1 by 2 V0 sin of omega T0 plus theta G by 2. Substituting the value of velocity of electron equal to VR T1 equal to V0 into 1 plus beta 1 V1 by 2 V0 sin of omega T0 plus theta G by 2. This equation is called velocity modulation. Can be written as V of T1 equal to V0. 1 plus beta 1 V1 by 2 V0 sin of omega T minus theta G by 2. So, bunging process, the bunging process can be explained by del L equal to V0 TD minus T0. That is V minimum equal to TD minus T0, V maximum TD minus T. So, this can be written as from the apple gate diagram V max equal to V0 1 plus beta I V1 by 2 V0 and V minimum equal to V0 1 minus beta I V1 by 2 V0. Substitute in the value, you will get the final equation by comparing the value, you will get ID minus I0 is equal to 2 pi V0 by 2 omega beta plus pi by 2 omega, which is equal to pi V0 by omega beta I V1 plus pi by 2 omega minus pi V0 by omega I beta naught. So finally, the del L equal to V0 TD minus TV, V0 pi V0 by omega 
beta i. So we are going to substitute the value from the Wanger cavity, applying the binomial expansion. Finally, you will get the electron transit cycle in drift space with bunging parameter of the cliston. So the instantaneous of the electron arrive at catcher cavity is t2 equal to t1 by t0 1 minus beta i v1 by 2 v0 sin of omega theta 1 minus theta g by t0 t0 plus t plus t0 1 minus v1 by 2 v0 sin of omega t0 minus theta g by 2. So once we computed the bunching are formed by the interval uh, from the beam current in the periodic beam. Therefore, current is explained by four year series. So we are going to calculate the value of A0, An and B1. Substituting the value, you will get the value of Bn with respect to this uh, integral term of Bessel function. So once we computed the fundamental common and current IF is equal to I0 J1 of X. The optimum distance L at the fundamental current can be also calculated. So here you will get the output power and beam loading. If the beam coupling coefficient of the catcher grid, if the bunger grid are identical, the magnitude of the fundamental component of the current induced can be expressed as I2 equal to beta I2. So 2 beta I0 J1 of X. The equivalent circuit diagram is shown here. So the output power can be delivered is equal to P out equal to B0 I2 V of X. So the cliston efficiency can be easily computed here. E tag P out by P in. So you substituted here the maximum efficiency of the cliston is 58 percentage. In practice, it is 50 to 30. Mutual conductance of the cliston normally for the ratio of the induced output current to input voltage. So we are going to compute the mutual conductance of the amplifier with a DC beam resistance. So consider one problem. So using this value, so already I given, using this value, we are going to determine the value of input gap voltage, voltage gain efficiency and beam loading so we are going to compute all the value and the efficiency can be computed with 46.21 and conductance can be also calculated so multi-cavity cliston more than if you are having more than one uh, that is coming bunger cavity and catcher cavity with more than our output cavity this is called multi-venom thank you